Hi, I'm Dom Lawson from Metal Hammer magazine, um, writer and hairy person. Um, Jubby Jordison's absence from the metal world has been one of the biggest, uh, biggest kind of sources of rumour and, and conjecture over the last few years, uh, particularly since Slipknot announced that uh, Joey was no longer a part of the band. Um, and Metal Hammer was offered the opportunity to go and speak with Joey at his home in Des Moines, in Iowa. Uh, and given, you know, given all the things that, there's a lot of questions that people have wanted to ask Joey and a, a lot of things that, uh, you know, a lot of things that haven't really been discussed, a lot of information that isn't out there about where he's been, uh, why he left Slipknot, what he's up to now, and obviously we couldn't turn down that opportunity, so, um, so I flew over to the States to talk to him on his home turf. I go back quite a long way with Joey, um, because obviously Slipknot's career is almost, runs parallel with my career as a journalist. It's pretty much the exact same time frame. So um, I've interviewed Joey a bunch of times over the years and always got on really well with him. Um, so I, I figured that you know, we could have an honest discussion about all this stuff. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the, the kind of predatory journalist going in and trying to get some gossip, but just, you know, genuine curiosity about what's been going on. And also some of the rumours that have been floating around, I really wanted to deal with those, you know, to, to get the truth, or certainly his, you know, his truth, his perspective on it. So it was quite, it wasn't that difficult to decide what to ask, because obviously, firstly, you know, where have you been? That's the, <laughs> the obvious thing to ask. Secondly, you know, what happened with Slipknot? Why did, why did you leave or why were you fired? Um, and also, as I was, you know, in the process of getting ready to do this feature, I, I kind of became party to some information about what had actually been going on. And it became clear that far from, far from having been, you know, I think the rumour was that he'd gone off the rails um, you know, with drink or drugs or one of those things and, and had been chucked out of Slipknot as a result of that. Uh, but it transpired shortly before I did the interview that actually he'd been extremely unwell and so obviously that became the focus of the interview. When we arrived at his house it was pretty obvious that he had a lot of things that he wanted to get off his chest and that you know it, it's been a, a period of great frustration for him uh, because obviously there's endless speculation online but he hasn't actually been able in a position to, uh, to answer the rumours. It was an extremely emotional conversation, um, and I think you know you kind of know when it, it's, it's it's very rare, you know, when you interview musicians for a living, it's very rare to have uh, the underlying story be be so emotional and so uh, shocking in many ways. Um, but it was it was a super emotional conversation all round. You know, I mean, I, I you know, Joey Joey's eyes welled up a few times while we were talking. You know, firstly we you know we talked about losing Paul Gray. Um, and then when we talked about him discovering that he had this neurological condition, um, it, you could see it was etched into his face how much, how emotionally grueling and draining it has been for him and what, what a huge kind of challenge he faced in his life and how much that's taken out of him. You know, it was, um, he had to pause a few times while we were talking just to kind of get his breath back because his, his eyes were filling up with tears and, you know, it, it's been a hard slog for him, not just recovering from the illness, but also dealing with the frustration of not being able to tell people what was wrong, you know, because obviously he wanted to get back to a point where he was well enough to continue with his music career in whatever form that was going to take. Um, but he wasn't going to go online and start telling everybody what, what was wrong. So he's, he's had several years of people not knowing where Joey was, what was wrong with him, and a lot of people assuming that he'd, like I said, like, he'd gone off the rails and had a problem with drink or, or whatever else. Um, so yeah, it was one of the most intense interviews I've ever done, but also one of the mo most enjoyable because he was, it was obviously very liberating for Joey to get all of this off his, off his chest. Yeah.